how do you look today? Seriously, how do you look? Do a little self-assessment right now. Take a look. Look at your shoes. Look at your outfit. How you doing? Do you look like you would hand you $10,000 for an item today? You know, every once in a while, we got to come back to this. Why? Because... Dress and our appearance is something that we do every single day and it gets to be something that we don't even think about. And sometimes those things that we don't think about, we start to lose track of and they can get us. So let's just have some fun today and, and, and talk about dress. You know, um, the store dress policy is something that uh, a lot of jewelers have, but a lot of jewelers also don't have. They have an understanding. And let's talk about that for a second, because you may have a policy that's top down from the owners uh, that says, this is what you're going to wear. That's wonderful. But we still need to constantly be assessing what we're doing personally, because like I said, we lose track of it. I'll give you an example. I've had this suit in my closet for eh, almost 24 years now. And I, I still have in my brain, oh, that's my new suit. <laughs> I remember paying $700 for that dang suit. And so I have in my brain, that's my new suit. Well, it's pleated. It's pleated, you know, at the waist and it's pleated down below. And the cut is... Um, well, let's just say it was cut more for how I was shaped back then. And uh, and it's funny because recently I pulled it out to, to attend a funeral and my wife said, you're not going to wear that suit, are you? <laughs> I, I, I lost track of it. And we tend to lose track of it, especially, you know, men, uh, sport coats and shirts and ties. Ties are huge. We lose track of them. And uh, as a matter of fact, um, I just learned recently that we are, we're now back... We're not to the skinny ties anymore yet, and we're not to the big fat ties. Now we're the medium ties. So I'm medium tie guy, medium tie whip. So anyhow, um, it's just something that we really need to take a look at every now and again. So first of all, know your store dress policy. Know what the expectations are. But then take a personal assessment and, and decide that you're going to kind of up that and refresh that every once in a while just so you don't lose track of your wardrobe and you start to not see the things in your wardrobe that are blatantly obvious to everybody else either they're out of style or you have you know worn spots or stains and things like that so we're going to refresh here N next discuss it among the team and the reason we're doing this is because somebody brought it up to me. It's a very difficult thing to discuss. It's personal. It involves finance and it involves fashion and it involves personal uh, personalities. So, you know, you, you don't want to attack somebody for having too much mascara on. You don't want to attack somebody for how they're dressed and, and saying you look like a schlep because your jacket looks like it's from the 70s and it's polyester and blah, blah, blah. You know, so the, the, that's, a, that's a difficult road to go down. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is discuss it among the team. And then, you know, also uh, number four is admit where you need help. And I think if you took number one seriously, and that's do a quick self-assessment right now of how you look, you may say, you know what, guys, do I need help with this? Is this, you know, is this thing out of date? And then somebody can say, when you ask that, when you ask, when you open it up to, I need help, they can say, well, did you know that stain has been on there, you know, and, and you can't see it from your angle, but we can see it from this angle. And it's, it's not judgmental. It's them helping you to be most effective with your customers. Okay, so it's that simple. Talking about things is so important. That's when you go to AA meetings and you go to any meetings or prayer meetings or whatever, talking about things, getting it out there. Uh, that's the important thing. So uh, admit where you need that help. Next, every once in a while, it wouldn't hurt you to go to a fashion blog 
or uh, GQ or, you know, or just type in, <laughs> you know, men's fashion, women's fashion and find out what's happening now because chances are your wardrobe is stale and outdated. I know for me personally, jackets, my jackets were all stale and outdated. They were the wrong cut. Now we're more of a, you know, in 2017, we're more of an athletic fit cut. Like, and depending upon your body, you know, you can have a cut that's more appropriate for your body, of course. But every once in a while, hit the fashion blogs and just look. You know, it may, maybe it's once a year. And then go on a little shopping spree treat yourself. You'd be surprised how awesome you feel when you get a new shirt. My wife bought me this shirt and I, it, it was my birthday recently and she bought me this shirt for my birthday and it is my favorite shirt. I just love it. It's, it goes with everything and my whole wardrobe lately has been blues. <laughs> Can you tell? And so I'm trying to get away from the blues. Well, this is gray. <laughs> So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But then again, I like the brighter colors as well. Um, enough about me. I just want you to know that that fashion gets away from me. And every once in a while, I just need to revisit it and look at what's different. The pleats on the bottom of the pants are different. They're not there anymore. The, I used to have the pleats on the front. That's very different now. Uh, our belts, our ties... Ladies, all of your clothes, I, I don't even want to go down there, but you know, it, it, you ladies especially have a tough time with all different body and height shapes and things like that. Uh, God bless you. Uh, it, it, you know, all I'm going to say is try to look at the fashion blogs and there's enough people out there doing fashion blogs that are, you know, that are, want to help us. And so get out there and, and start poking around and start seeking out what you think would be the best for both you, your body personally and your store. And then, uh, and then, of course, I have to touch on this a little bit, but, you know, makeups can sometimes get out of hand if we don't know how to apply makeup or if we've learned from the wrong person or if we haven't learned and we're trying to do it ourselves. I'm going to ask ladies especially that you become experts in how to tastefully apply makeup. I know that we can often be judged very quickly if, if, uh, if things are askew or if we're off base on how we apply our, our product. And uh, it's the same thing men with hair. Uh, you know, <laughs> something about men and hair. My point is that men, we have to, we have to watch, we, we have to watch where our hair is growing. <laughs> sometimes it's sticking out of our ears. Sometimes it's sticking out of our nose. Sometimes our eyebrows are yeah, look like antennas. And so we really, we got to keep an eye on that. And I'm a man, so I can speak to that. But uh, ladies, you know, re again, realize that, it, realize if you're not an expert at it, you can easily become an expert at it by Googling it. So watch the fashion blogs, watch the makeup blogs, Men, keep an eye on your hair. <laughs> and the whole idea here is just awareness. I just wanted to bring it up again because every once in a while, maybe once a year or so, it's good to just talk about it. We have some new people at the store and they haven't had the discussion with all of us. So let's just talk about how we're going to professionally present ourselves. We're going to admit where we do need help. Listen, I never had a makeup session. I never had somebody teach me how to. Well, somebody in your store has, and so we can help each other with this. And that's really the key to a lot of this is just help each other with that. So um, uh, have some fun with it. Admit where you need help. Uh, fashion vlogs, I'm rambling, but <laughs> you get the idea. So you know what? Turn this off right now and go have that discussion. It'll be great, and uh, I, I know you'll be glad you did. Hey folks, if you like this training video and you found it helpful for your staff, you can get these trainings in your inbox every single Monday morning. I'm working with Brad Huskin from IAS Training and we've partnered up. We have over 280 videos for you to watch at any time. We're training on everything from closing sales to partnering up and team selling, uh, how to dress, how to come into work on time, all kinds of things like that. So check out the link below and sign up today. Get your team all set for Christmas.